Hello, I'm Danielle, and welcome to the Amona Project. We here at the Amona Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to uh, information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. And I want to spend a moment talking about Shabbos, the Sabbath. We are commanded to, uh, to, to, uh, to observe the, the, the Sabbath, to guard the Sabbath. And um, most Jews can understand, appreciate Shabbos according to their level. Most people are aware of what we're not allowed to do on Shabbos. Um, and some uh, should focus more on what we can do, what we're obligated to do. The Shabbos should, should be a, a delight, it should be a joy, and uh, different kind of people derive different things. Um, uh, someone who's on a high spiritual level uh, will, uh, will use the day to study, to learn, to get close to... Uh, uh, to God, someone who uh, is uh, like like a Bainani, a, a middle kind of guy, uh, will uh, appreciate it for a, as a day of rest. He doesn't have to work. And another person uh, will th will just look at it as an opportunity to stuff yourself full of really delicious food and sleep. And that's to that person. That's Shabbos. So this alludes to. Uh, three levels of Sabbath observance. Um, first are the, sh the Shomer Shabbos, the, the guardians of the uh, uh, of Shabbos. Um, the righteous, the Shomer Shabbos. Um, they observe sa uh, Sabbath and um, they uh, gain its uh, spiritual flavor. Um, they wait all week for Shabbos, and Shabbos becomes uh, their joy. Uh, it's um, for these righteous people, the enjoyment of Shabbos is really a, a connection to, uh, to the Creator, a connection uh, to Hashem. Those in the middle, the Bainanim, um, they are the uh, Kore Oneg, those who call Shabbos. Uh, a delight, a pleasure. Um, they see to it that that Shabbos uh, retains a, uh, a spiritual uh, a flavor. Um, they um, they appreciate also the physical uh, aspects, foods that they eat, the rest that they get, the delight that they have in uh, in these things. And they also inject uh, an element of spirituality into their enjoyment. They elevate their uh, their pleasure by that. They're eating and drinking for the sake of uh, of heaven. L'shem shemayim. They're doing it for a, for a godly purpose. The common, everyday, low-level, plain, unleaded Jew, they might have a difficult time. Uh, understanding the true, higher uh, meaning of Shabbos. They are Mechadesh uh, Shvi. They sanctify the seventh day. They understand that the seventh day of the week has to be special. God sanctified the seventh day. It's a gift from the Creator, a gift from Hashem. And uh, to them, Shabbos is merely a, a day off work. They don't work. They can rest. They can they can relax, uh, and they know it's a, a remembrance uh, of the creation because it was on that day that God rested. Uh, they share in the holiness. They can grasp the holiness, uh, but at their level. Uh, each of these members of these three groups claim their uh, uh, portion in the world to come, according to their uh, uh, according uh, to their. Um, Level of Shabbos observance and to their uh, and to their uh, to their ability to appreciate. Um, one should always try and strive to better oneself when Shabbos comes along, 
And if to you Shabbos is eating a lot of chicken soup and and uh, and, uh, and sleeping and uh, having you know lots of food and fine, great if you're doing it for the sake of Sabbath. But wouldn't it be nice to inject more holiness, um, learning a little Torah, paying attention uh, in shul? And the rabbi is giving a Dvar Torah, a drasha, an explanation uh, of the Torah. Try to elevate yourself. See if you can get insights into the Torah portion. Similarly, with the the Benini, the 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 guy in the middle. Um, try to be uh, to have a deeper understanding, a deeper grasp of Shabbos. And uh, as for the uh, the highest group, the Tzaddikim. Um, there's always room for improvement. I don't care how big a, a scholar you are, you can always learn more. There's no end to learning, there's no end to increasing your, uh, uh, your ability to do mitzvahs, to your giving of tzedakah. There's always room for improvement, no matter how high you are. Use Shabbos to elevate yourself. Use Shabbos not only as that wonderful island of time where the world has to wait for you, you know, you take the phone off the hook, you unplug, no emails, no nothing, no getting in cars, no driving to the mall. For 25 hours, you unplug, and the world has to wait for you. Use that opportunity, not just for rest, Shabbos Menucha, which you have to do. You have to rest on Shabbos. But use Shabbos to improve yourself. Use Shabbos to elevate yourself. Grasp it. Hold on to it. Hold on to it tight. Because uh, it will save you. It will lift you up as much as you will let it. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.